Well, hello everyone, this is the Not So Sad Panda, and you are looking at one of our first of many uh, useless houses because we're only going to mainly be using one. But, like I said, to had a few house ideas, so, and there's a piece of wool missing. That must have been from the last time the house burned down. Uh, I see, <laughs> last time the house burned down because, uh, I'll show you in a second once we go inside. Now this house has nothing on the inside, but it'll, uh, there's a creeper right at my front door. Of course there is. Ooh, an Enderman. I really want the Enderman. Did that hit him? Oh, go away, go away. Quick, let's get in the house. Go, 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 go. Doesn't help have on my jetpack. Less armor. Okay, <laughs> so this is why that piece of wool's missing. I'll have to come back. I didn't realize that before I started recording. Uh, I have another rack in here, which that will pretty much burn forever, literally. Um, but the only thing was, it keep catching the house on fire once I use a flint and steel to light it. So that's the only problem with that. But as you can see, this is a pretty interesting looking house. Uh, it has three floors. Uh, if you want to include the attic. Um, the second floor has like a little balcony. And that Enderman's back. Die, Enderman, die! Where'd he go? There he is. He's in a tree. He's stuck. That's right. Aw. No... No end... No ender eye or whatever. <clears throat> Alright. So yes, this is the house. Uh, I realize I'm going pretty slow going up, but I'm on hover mode to save energy because... We are really far away from home, but uh, I'll go show you the Castle de Panda in just a moment, but first, we, uh, I'm going to need to stop home and charge the jetpack, but then when we pick up, we'll be at Castle de la Panda, so I'll meet you guys there. She is. Castle de la Panda. Dun dun dun. Ooh, it's really windy up here. Jeez. Current impressive of a do say so myself. So, let's go ahead on the inside. Um. Stop it. Okay, we're in. We're in. Okay. <laughs> um, I have little rooms sanctioned off on the bottom floor. I don't have anything sanctioned off on the top floor just yet. Um, but th this is definitely pretty big on the inside and the outside, if you didn't notice it. Uh, it is only two floors, but there is a... Uh, a block separating each floor because I'm probably not going to have torches up in this house unless, of course, we put down interdiction torches. Uh, they will probably be um, lanterns, which I'll show you guys how to make that and how to power that if that is what I end up doing in here. Uh, more than likely, I'll end up making a video just on that regardless, but, you know. Um... As you can see, there is an obvious problem with this, and that is uh, that where I've built this does not have land, so I will need a bridge eventually, and I will build that as well. But um, I just want to show you guys these houses. Uh, our current house is not big enough for what I'm going to build, so it'll probably be in the castle or in Strudel. 
what does what I'm calling the first house I showed you. Um, so yes, we're gonna go ahead and head back home and make our start to go down the process of making free diamonds. Um, but I'll meet you guys at home and then we'll get started. All right, so we're back. So first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to make some distribution. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Distribution pipes, <laughs> which are two iron, one glass, and one redstone. Ta-da! Now with this, you can control um, how much of something's going somewhere, which is going to come into play in our setup for this. Um, it's a good thing it makes eight because we're going to need two for one setup and two for our other setup. All right, so I just went ahead and grabbed some more stuff that we're going to need. Uh, we're going to need to make a wrench, but this is a different wrench. This is um, a redstone-powered wrench, so this will manipulate things that are made from um, from redstone version of TechIt, or the module in here. Oh, wait, it doesn't need to be... Uh, where is it? There it is. Ah, okay. Ta-da! Now, we will need this because we're also going to need to make an iron pipe. And this will um, tell the iron pipe as well uh, which way uh, things should be going. Is it iron? Huh. Hold on. Where is it? Iron. Yeah, it is iron. I, oh, iron transport. Okay. So, one piece of glass, just like we make every other pipe, and then two of the material. And I think that's what we need for this. I don't really know. If not, we'll come back. Worst comes to worst. Okay. Um, you also need two macerators and two redstone engines, which we have made before, so I'm not going to go back through that. Uh, I do need to make myself um, another macerator, though, but we're going to show you how this wrench works. So, plop down this, and then just, I think it's right click, left click. Uh, I thought it's supposed to change the direction. It works. I promise it works. I don't know. Maybe I have to, like, charge it or repair it. I don't know. Who who knows? But that's, that's what I was told this is for. Is to manipulate the direction things go. But uh, we shall see. If not, uh, well, we'll just storm, I guess. None of my machines are on. Oh, I do have some rubber in here, though. Ha ha ha. Alright, so, uh, sorry, a little ADD today. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make those macerators and get some more pipes, because I know we're gonna need that, and I'll meet you probably at the castle for the setup. I also forgot to mention you are also going to need a way to power um, the macerators. And I don't want to... Oh, that's really sucked having to do that, but I had to. Um, so I'm taking my uh, solar-powered things. And you also need four uh, alchemical chests, or energy collectors, which is very expensive to have four of them. Oh, there's my rubber tree farm. Say hi. Um, but yes, I'm going to be heading over there and get that all set up and uh, have the wire down and ready to power the macerators, and then I'll get to how to set these up properly. Um, don't forget, you'll also actually need your um, the bones from the skeletons, and you will need the blaze rods, and you'll need enough to set them up times two. So, you'll need four of 
and four and four and whatever. But uh, actually, we're almost there, so um, just gonna go ahead and set that up, and I'll meet you guys on the top level of the castle. All right, y'all ready for this? Dun, dun, dun. All right. What the hell was that? All right, so I had to go back home. After all this, getting out here, I had to not only reset this back up at home, uh, but I had to condense uh -oh, a bunch of diamonds and stuff to get this iron pipe because energy gets depleted uh, through the distance it has to travel. Travel, So I built a bunch of back boxes and all that, and they're all getting power properly. Um, so we have a bunch of bad boxes to power this at night. And, uh, I had to make a bunch of wire for this to travel through. So, it wasn't fun. My resources are, uh, you know, not all there. But yes, let's get through this. Um, so, to go ahead and set this up, plunk these on the wall. Like so. Um... Then you're going to need to wooden get yeah wooden transport pipes to come out of them and then you need a regular pipe to come out of them about here yeah here's good why not? Now this might be a little bit more uh, room than I need, but uh, you know, whatevs. All right, so this is where we need the iron pipe, I believe. Uh, if not, we'll tinker. And then I think we put another pipe. Then a. I don't know. We're let's put up Bridgestone engines first. Ah, here's a chance to see if this works. Huh? This is supposed to like. I swear that's what that is what the wiki tells me this thing is for. So. Oh, I'm putting it over the wrong thing. Anyways. Alright. <laughs> so now with this, we tell it no, we don't want it to go that way, and no, we don't. Uh, am I missing something? Hold on, guys. Yeah, yeah, I'm not crazy. Okay, so we need another normal pipe here. And now it has two. Okay, alright. So now tell it to not go that way and not go that way. Now we put the distribution pipe here. Now from here, we branch it off, I believe. Oh, iron pipes, no. Uh, yes. And we need one of these. This one will be producing diamond. And this one will be producing bone. As you can see here, I've already mastered these ones at home just to make sure to test them. Uh, I didn't want to make... I didn't know if the information was, uh, you know, uh, out of date. So I was just making sure. And... Then I think it's as easy as making sure that, no, just, um, no, why you be pain? Okay. I think a distribution pipe goes here, if I'm not crazy. Okay, distribution, and these are cobblestone, so, stone, 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 oh. Oh, 
I'm going to need to make more of these, obviously. Alright. Um, let me go make more of those. Uh, I'm going to have to run all the way back home now. Um, and then when I come back, I'll make sure I have enough uh, cobblestone pipes and make sure that setup is going properly. Okay, ta-da! So I'm going to show you guys how to use these distribution pipes. Um, I did make a little bit more compact um, while I was making sure everything was set up right real quick. Uh, so uh, what you're going to do is right click your distribution pipe. Set everything to zero that you don't want stuff going to. So I want everything but red and blue set to zero. So blue set to one, red set to one, so you will each get one bone. Okay, then they'll get macerated. Come out these pipes. Come here. Go to this distribution pipe. Same theory and effect here. We want everything but the light blue and the blue to be getting one and one. Oh, wait, no. Uh, blue, blue is going to be getting two. Since you get just a five from something that normally gives you three. So they'll be getting everything extra. So two goes to blue, which is making diamond. And then three needs to go to light blue, which will be here. And that'll be recreating bone. So what we need to do here is you split them up. They are both powered, so that's good. Put your, put your bone in. Put your bone in, and these pipes should all work and go around, and uh, we shall see what happens. Okay, there go the bones on that one. Uh, here come the bones on this one. Now, obviously, the more bones and the more uh, blaze rods you have will uh, have this go faster. But, you know, uh, since I don't have like 20 or 30, this will not be going too, too fast. But we will get, I think I put 6 in there, so 6 times 5 and then two for each one so there goes three here should come two yep there went in two and this created a bone since it got three and that goes back and one will come in here one will come in here and that's it now we're gonna do the exact same thing for blaze rods um but i'll show you that once it's done since you have seen the the walkthrough and all that now and uh this will slowly create it once it, like i said if we had a bunch of bones it had uh it would go quicker so i might do that off camera and just go ahead and kill a bunch of skeletons or uh go have a monster killing spring and same with here in effect for the uh the blaze rods, but I think I'm going to do blaze rods on the exact opposite side of the room of this one. So I'll see you guys um, later in just a minute. And ta da! This one's set up now, too. As you can see, it's already kicking. Oh, yeah. Um, this is the same thing as this over here. Uh, almost completely exact replica. Uh, as you can see here, it still works very much the same. Two dust goes into here, three dust goes into here. Uh, and yes, uh, this will create diamonds a little bit quicker, as you can see uh, how far this is along. Hold on, let's wait for that one to come in. Okay, that's just after the first, you know, go around, and it's already halfway there. The bone is not as fast for obvious reasons because the EMC is not worth as much, but it got about half and one go around or 
not one go around, but uh, the time it took me to set up that. So, you know, this will create diamonds as well, just not nearly as fast. And like I've said multiple times, the more materials you have moving through it, the quicker it will create it. So that is it for this episode. I will see you guys next time. Um, next time, I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll start going some quantum armor, or we could start building some things that acquire diamonds and or uh, start building nukes or something. But I'm going to go ahead and decorate this house, and I'll see you guys sometime later on. So goodbye.